And the final example, assume an economy is in a recession. So let's assume this recession, again, when you're drawing an aggregate demand, aggregate supply curve, the potential output is going to be to the right of the um, actual output. But uh, again, on this graph here, uh, don't be confused. Uh, when you see the recession, draw exactly what you would do otherwise, and then uh, you want to be able to analyze where the points would be to uh, see where re recession would occur uh, on a Phillips curve. So assume the economy is in recession, draw a correctly labeled graph showing the following, the SRPC, LRPC, and point A, which represents the current state of recession. So there's going to be uh, multiple answers, but you have to be on the right side, uh, uh, not the right side, the correct side, of uh, the um, LRPC, so it's either to the right or to the left. So let's let's graph to see which one would be the correct answer here. So again, this is the this is the inflation percentage, and this is the unemployment percentage. So you draw the SRPC here. SRPC one, and you have the LRPC, LRPC one. Okay. Um, now again, this is going to be um, this is the Nairu non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment here. All right. So this might be the let's label this as E here, and let's label this as I um, um, I star here, where it's uh, in equilibrium here, um, and uh, uh, Nairu, let's label it as U1, okay? So what is the point of recession? So here's the million dollar question, is it going to be to the right or is it going to be to the left of the LRPC? Well, let's examine what each of them would, uh, would indicate. So if you're on the left of the LRPC, what you're indicating is relatively higher inflation and, and uh, lower unemployment. And that's more of an inflation um, inflationary gap more so than a recessionary. So you're going to have low unemployment. That's definitely not a re recession. And you're going to have high inflation. So that definitely wouldn't be the case. So you don't go to the left side. So obviously, it'd be the right side. So this would be a point A. So if they're looking for a point that could represent the economy in a state of recession, it would be point A because inflation would be relatively low. So let's label this as I1. Now, if it's deflation, then it's actually going to be below right here and high levels of unemployment. That's why uh, the SRPC actually can cross through the x-axis here. And let's assume that the Nairu was 6%. You might have like an 8% unemployment, which, again, it, it's consistent. In a recession, uh, the, the real GDP is lower, um, and therefore, in in periods of uh, of a recession with a, a lower GDP, uh, it goes to reason that the unemployment rate is going to be high as well. So uh, again, if you if you want to see the connection between unemployment and inflation in the short run and in the long run, then uh, you, you want to be able to uh, get this on the SRPC, LRPC. Uh, these are very easy graphs to go over and memorize, and so um, it. it definitely is in your best interest to, to get this squared away before the AP exam. Thank you for watching educator.com.